SMT Nation, we back. Nation, it looks like AT&T did indeed have some customer information leak onto the dark web. The, the details are kind of interesting in the way it's all played out. Let's see if we can kind of make some sense of this. And of course, if it impacts you, if you are an AT&T customer from the time frame that's mentioned here within this article, I'll, I'll be sure to provide it for you guys here from Rebecca. CNBC, we'll get you guys in the know and, and up to date on all that's happening. All right, link for the article on CNBC is provided in the description box down there. Uh, you guys can also find ways to support us there. Please do like and share this content and subscribe if you're new and turn on the bell notifications icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, folks, so what is the situation currently? Well, it, it looks like there indeed is confirmation here that AT&T customer information has been compromised. Now, initially, when we reported on this, we, we did call it speculative or rumor only because AT&T was yet to acknowledge it and identify it as a, a legitimate breach. So with that being said, we kind of treated it that way. Now we kind of confirm that there absolutely was indeed some kind of a, a, a consumer information data leak. All right. So the personal information, which by the way, includes tons of identifiers. So it's names. It's social security numbers, it's addresses, you know, all the really sensitive account information to the tune of 73 million AT&T customers. And that, that was confirmed as happening, I think, earlier here in March. So AT&T is confirming this. Uh, they are launching a quote unquote robust investigation. And, uh, but, but they are confirming that the time frame seems to be from 2019 or earlier. So this is interesting. Uh, because that that's like five years ago or longer uh but but that that is that is a lot of people and that's some sensitive info so i'm not sure if that means you know customers are in the good for now like current customers more recent customers uh but what at&t i think proactively what they've done is they've gone ahead and reset customers passwords and passcodes and and what you could do is that you know you just reset it and that kind of i guess helps with the risk uh, should those folks have access to any of the passwords and things like that? Because what can happen is they can make changes to your account. They can get access to, to other types of information and purchases and all those types of things. So they've gone ahead and do that. And if you're an AT&T customer that's been impacted, you probably have been prompted to act accordingly. So um, I don't know. Um, I guess I guess they're giving credits. For to, to people for the trouble uh so count this as another reason why at&t is giving out credits from before it was for the network outage to the tune of five dollars a line or something or account i don't know i don't remember uh, <laughs> but uh guys look these companies you know whatever their systems are that they're using you know the, the hackers i mean it's all it's all vulnerable it's all just a giant vulnerability at this point not much you could do. We've seen AT&T deal with this. We've seen, I think, Verizon with respect to their employees. There was a breach there. There's some social engineering, I think. And then T-Mobile basically gets hacked, you know, two, three times a year. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know if there is one. What can you do, right? Except when you find out about the breach, just try to act accordingly. You know, some people have, have gone so far as to, you know, keeping their credit frozen you know, dealing and checking with the bureaus uh, that monitor credit, you know, Equifax and stuff like that. I don't know if any of that is, is worthwhile to maybe check out, but, uh, you know, just putting you guys in the know and letting you guys know what's happening. Uh, but I, I do want to say that AT&T can still go to hell for this because, you know, there were reports of this happening weeks ago and they were unresponsive, not mentioning anything. And I always felt like that was really bad, disingenuous for them to kind of try to play it off. And I know that they... Have kind of deflected a bit saying that you know it wasn't a systems error it wasn't a systems breach it was basically some other third party that maybe handled some data i don't know you know but i'm sure they'll find excuses and that's what companies do you know don't give them your allegiance don't give them your loyalty they don't deserve it it's a business transaction and of course spend your money where you see fit and if you're trying to avoid breaches i guess the only way to do this is to <laughs> i don't know change the way you do business with respect to payments, no auto pay, uh, you know, or use like a temporary fill card kind of deal or pay cash in the store. I don't know what to tell you. It's just, that's what we're dealing with these days. Hopefully it doesn't impact you guys too much. And 
spread the word. Please do share this video and help others know what's going on with this situation. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.